In this video, I will be breaking down real estate trends here in Monterey County, taking a look at home sales in the month of March and what is currently available at the start of April. What's up everyone? Toby Fernie, AKA the teacher realtor here in Monterey, California. If you are new to the channel, it is all things real estate and living here in Monterey, California. If you get any useful information out of this video, hitting the like and subscribe buttons, always greatly appreciated. Sellers wondering the value of your home in today's market or buyers looking for your dream home in the area. I'm here to help your real estate goals. So be sure to give me a call, send me a text or an email and let me know how I can help. If you've seen my previous monthly market updates, this one is going to be slightly different in that I will be doing data and information for all of Monterey County, not just downtown Monterey proper. We'll start by taking a look back at real estate trends in the month of March. Rates and low inventory of houses for sale still continue to be driving factors when it comes to the cost to purchase a home for buyers and those who are thinking about selling their home. Monterey County doesn't see significant changes when it comes to the weather, so the real estate market doesn't slow down as much in the winter as you might see in other places like on the East Coast. That being said, as we enter the spring season, there likely will be an increase in real estate activity as both buyers and sellers who have been watching rates in the fives to the 7% range will realize that these rates are probably not going anywhere, at least for the foreseeable future. And there will be an increased number of people who are putting their homes on the market for sale and buyers who are recognizing that they're gonna be purchasing a home with a six or 7% APR. Looking back at single family residence sales in the month of March in Monterey County, there was an increase of over 100 more sales, 146 sales in comparison to 39 sales the month before. These homes had an average of 47 days on the market. Sale prices ranged from a 330,000 home in Greenfield to an $11,250,000 home in Pebble Beach with a median sale price of $900,000, which was just slightly over the median list price of $899,000. There were 27 condominium and townhouse sales with an average of 38 days on the market. Sale prices ranged from a $255,000 condo in King City to a $3,350,000 townhouse in Pebble Beach with a median condominium and townhouse sale price of $640,000, which was just right around 102% of the median list price. Looking at homes for sale at the start of April in Monterey County, there are currently 270 single family residences listed for sale. List prices range from a $390,000 home in Greenfield to a $40 million home in Carmel by the Sea with a median single family residence list price of $1,404,000. There are currently 27 condominiums and three townhouses listed with an average days on the market of 37 days. List prices range from a $315,000 townhouse in King City to a $2,899,000 condo in Pacific Grove with a median townhouse and condominium list price of $742,000. If you have any questions about the value of your home in today's market, or if you're a buyer looking for your dream home in the Monterey or Santa Cruz counties, be sure to send me a text, give me a call or an email at toby.fernie at gmail.com. Like and subscribe. Stay tuned for future content all about real estate and living here in Monterey, California. Click the icon to subscribe to more content from living in Monterey, California.